before he was a household name, before he won his first Super Bowl, before he was the backup to Drew Bledsoe, Tom Brady was just another quarterback trying to fit in at the University of Michigan. Down. There were seven guys on the depth chart when I got there, and it's pretty daunting, you know? You're just a California kid going to Michigan. To make it at Michigan, Brady needed someone to help him unlock and clear his mind. Someone like Michigan's associate athletic director, Greg Harden. In those days, I talked to every freshman class that came in, looking at the issues of self-defeating attitudes and behaviors, relationship mastery, all kinds of crazy stuff. And then eventually, we are doing giant group therapy, building a team. Before his sophomore season, Brady met with Harden for a private visit. It's a rare moment when a kid will show up at my office saying, I need some support. He says, I want to be the starting quarterback at Michigan. And he had just lost 25 pounds from appendicitis. He was the skinniest kid you ever saw in your life, talking about he wanted to be a quarterback at Michigan. It went from there to uh, helping him understand I could not get him a starting job at Michigan. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about that. My job was to convince him that whether he ever started a game at Michigan, that he's got to be prepared to be the best player on the team. And if he's doing his job to be the absolute best possible competitor on that floor, on that field, period, he'll have a shot. Brady was considering transferring after he lost the battle for the starting quarterback job to senior Brian Greasy. Everyone that wants to leave doesn't want to leave because they made a choice. They chose Michigan, and they wanted to work. But not starting breaks your heart. And the fight is, how do you not take it personally? We recruited you, we loved you, and now you're gonna go somewhere else where they're gonna recruit you, they're gonna love you, and it's gonna be the same people, the same disposition, the same attitude, and you will have to prove yourself. Prove yourself here. Hey, your job is to fight, don't complain, don't explain. If you wanna cry, if you wanna whine, you come in my office, but when you walk out this office, Nobody is to see you sweat. Because in this world called football, you'll have a chance to be on the field. Will you be ready? By his junior year, Brady had won the starting job. Still, he continued to meet with Harden. He was in the office every week. <laughs> he, would, he would show up Friday before a game, every game, <laughs> and sit and prepare himself mentally. Remember, we're talking about a 20-year-old guy. This guy was hungry to be the best. He was trainable, coachable, and hungry. Brady won 20 of his 25 starts at Michigan and ended his career with a record-breaking performance at the Orange Bowl. But the NFL scouts were unimpressed, and after a poor showing at the Combine, he fell to 199 in the NFL draft, where he was selected by the Patriots. Brady had people who, who thought he was too skinny, funny looking, but he was the sort of guy that would do whatever it took to please people. I can't stand it. Run it again. Huddle up and run it again, Brady. Especially authority figures. So he was easy to work with because his respect for authority was something that he capitalized on. Right there, good. Great to see it, Brady. That's the best series you've had in camp. Brady worked his way up to being Drew Bledsoe's backup. And when Bledsoe went down, just like at Michigan, Brady was ready. Fires down the field, caught. Troy Brown at the 40. And the Patriots are Super Bowl champions. He has mastered his insecurities and his, his fears in brief moments. He has learned to silence the noise and the clutter in order to focus like a laser beam on the task at hand. Tom Brady launches a 60-yard bomb. Put it in the bank. It's gaining interest. The Patriots are going back to the Super Bowl. He was able to wrestle with whatever demons 
he might have had. In pursuit of perfection. Brady fires it to the right, down the right sideline, and caught at the 20-15-10 touchdown for Tom Brady. Touchdown pass number 50, an NFL record. In 2010, the quarterback that was once buried on the Michigan depth chart added one more extraordinary achievement. Just two years removed from a season-ending knee injury, he became the NFL's first ever unanimous MVP. My job was to convince him with or without football, he was going to be great. And once he seized that, there's no limits. I don't think there's any limits that he had after that. I never expected him to be the amazing human highlight reel that he is. Still holding the football, looking, firing, end zone, touchdown. But I expected him to be good at everything that he did. Everything. Brady hasn't played at Michigan in over a decade, but the mindset he adopted there while trying to win the starting job remains with him to this day. I would bring a level of competitiveness to practice for myself because if I didn't play well, I didn't think I'd be playing on the weekend. So when I come to the Patriots, that's how I treat Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You know, I'm out there at practice today, and it wasn't the best day of practice, you know? And I think, man, I sure hope they're not looking for my replacement after that day of practice. And I always want to feel like I'm the best quarterback for this team. I want to earn it every single day because I think that's what's going to be best for the team. And if you can't preach that message to your teammates and you think you're entitled to something, like you're in the wrong business and you're going to lose a lot of games. I think you got to get up and earn it every single day.